Okay, so first off, we're going to start off with the box art. Um, as you can see here, Mugshot Bust, Harley Quinn. And um, my first impressions of it is really nice. Um, wish that I actually make a print of this. If you look in the back side right here, I'm sorry. Same thing, it's not covered by words, so you can actually see it very well. But I actually think that's a very nice look. You know, Harley Quinn has that face of, you know, being mad, don't mess with me. Obviously, she got busted. There's the back. There's Cryptozoic, um, company that made this statue. Very nice work. Side shot again. Same thing as the other side. Top. Um, so on the box you saw that it said second edition. Here's the card. Shows that this is the second edition. Certificate in a sense. It's actually a very small card. It says it's an edition size of 3,000. Um, funny thing though, it's not actually numbered. So I don't know if this is number one of 3,000 or number 3,000 of 3,000. Kind of strange, but eh, that's not a big deal. Here's the bus itself. Very similar to the box art, obviously. Um, trying to zoom in, get a close-up shot. There it is. Of Harley Kent. She has that smirk. Just got into jail. Getting processed, ID'd, and booking. There's a badge. Handcuffs. There's a chain right there. Very nice detail. Very nice accessory. Um, has that look of... Just got busted, just got in a scuffle, and I lost. So, obviously she's kind of pissed off there, but, you know, her humor, she's already smiling, you know, because she's already planning to get out. I swear Arkham, one of the worst places to hold prisoners, right? <laughs> so there's uh, some detail right there. Side is um, torn. The white on her suit isn't, you know, white. She's obviously she's been in a scuffle, um, beat up a little bit. There's the other tear on her arm, a little bit of um, weathering on the outfit. It was very nice. I always like that. Uh, there's the badge right there. Um, going back to the back, um, now you can see there's a back. Obviously, you're never going to display your statues like this, right? But I always feel it's a shame that you know so much detail and work is put into this art. And rarely, if often ever, people ever see the back of these statues, you know, when a lot of work went into the whole thing. Um, one thing I'm planning to do, I um, have a lot of statues, got to get my room up and going. Uh, one of the biggest things that has been preventing me from doing that is I want to get my stands with mirrors behind them because, yeah, there's a lot of detail um, in the back of these statues that I want to be seen. I don't want that to go to waste. Uh, last thing with this bust is it actually comes with this um, cardboard. Real quick, there it is. And it stands in the back of the bust. Let's see if I can get it. There it is. Not really sturdy. Probably have to put something to hold it. Um, but it's the backdrop, you know, somebody's getting booked and processed in jail. You know, they step gotta stand behind. Um, so I think this actually is a good way to deter me, at least, to put a mirror because you know it, it is a mugshot. So I would probably actually display it with this, and if so, you know, there'd be no reason to put a mirror in the back. But that's just me. Anyway, your thoughts. And again, just wanted to give a big thanks to Chris, the Batman statue collector. Um, Holding the contest giveaway, I was uh, fortunate to be one of the persons drawn. So this is just a thank again, a thank you video to him, and um, yeah. So hopefully I can make more videos, get better at this. This is my very first one, um, but hey, it's a community that's growing. So just want to continue to build on that and uh, see where it takes me. You know, it's uh, definitely a hobby that fills my time, keeps me out of trouble, and. Let's me do what I love to do, and the best thing about it is um, I'm supported by my woman who actually saw the anagram. Anyway, again, thank you, Chris, Batman Statue Collector. Awesome channel. Keep it up. Bye-bye.